In this video, I'll be using root policy to deploy manage bookmarks for Microsoft Edge. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I'll be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video, I will be deploying a folder called manage bookmarks. Inside of that folder there will be a URL for YouTube and inside of that same folder there will be other two folders. One of them will be called search engines with all the URLs for search engines and the second folder with social media links. And now I'll begin this video by going to my Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I'll be creating my group policy. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings. Then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my computer, so I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, and then Microsoft Edge. And here I will just click on any setting and I will type configure favorites. And here we have the setting that we want to configure. I will click on it. Then I will enable this setting. And here we need to provide a JSON object with all the information about the bookmarks folder that we want to deploy. So for that I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this PowerShell snippet that converts PowerShell object into a JSON object that we need for the policy. And as you can see here, we are creating a folder called manage bookmarks. Inside of it, we have a URL for YouTube. Then we have two other folders, the search engine folder and also the social media folder. Anyways, now I'll click on the button right here to copy the snippet, go back to my server. And here I will open a PowerShell window. I will insert the snippet from the GitHub page here. I will press enter. And as you can see, it creates this JSON object right here. I will select the value, I will copy it, go back to my policy editor and insert the value here. And that's basically it. Now I'll click on apply and OK. Now we can close this window. And now let's go to details and for GPO status I'll select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. After creating the policy we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the bookmarks. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, it's called computers, and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy that I created and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here and I will open Microsoft Edge. And as you can see, currently I don't have any bookmarks and that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. I will update it manually, I will go to my start menu, search for CMD, I will open it. Here I will type GP update, press enter and now I need to wait a bit. And as you can see the policy update was successful. If I go back to my Microsoft Edge, we can see that we have this manage favorites folder right here with the YouTube link and the search engines folder and also the social media folder with all the links in them. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.